Hi, I'm here on Maui with the JP Shaper Werner Nigler and also Joop Schmidt and Stephen van Brockhoven. And we're going to talk about the new freestyle boards and also their preparation for the up and coming season. Now Stephen, 2012 didn't exactly work out how you planned. Um, no, um, I always wanted to win. So 2012 for me, I end on the third place, which is not bad. So I'm, I'm still happy with the result. But uh, for the upcoming season, um, yeah, I will train harder. I was a bit maybe unlucky with some, some heats, but you know, for everyone is the same. So you have to be prepared for everything what comes, light wind or you never know what, what's happening. And I know that you didn't blame your result on the boards. No, not at all. Um, I really like the 100 and Joop uh, really likes the 90. That's why uh, we leave those sports unchanged. Uh, but I find out that I have that it's really difficult for me and the really light winds in the competition. So, yeah, that's why I was thinking about to make something new in this, those conditions. And what have you done to fix that? Um, I sit down with Werner and see what, how he can, can re receive my goal and in the light wind. I want the board which is as extreme as the 100, which accelerate really fast and, and still have yeah, the feeling of a small board because I'm quite ha one of the heavier guys, so it's sometimes hard to find uh, those bigger boards They are not that developed than the smaller boards. So now we really worked on that and I'm really happy with, uh, with the result of the new 106. And did you go on some kind of special sort of training program to help lose, lose the weight that you needed? Um, yeah, I, I did also worked on myself, not just uh, on the equipment. Um, you know, being a champion is easier than, than stay a champion. So I heard that you have to train twice as hard and just keep fit. And I've, now I've trained also besides windsurfing. I've done a lot of training, so I became a little bit lighter and still as strong. So yeah, everything like with the 106 and, and I lost a bit of weight. So I'm well prepared for the light wind. I guess we'll come back to the 106 in just a moment. For now, I just wanted to ask Werner if he could give us a quick summary of the basic concept of the freestyle line. Yes, uh, they are full-on modern freestyle boards, obviously. The most important thing about these boards are speed, very loose feel and instant pop. That's why Stephen calls them the pop stars, because they provide all the pop he needs and he's looking for. And how did you achieve that? Uh, on all the boards we're using a rather wide and thick tail so that provides a lot of lift and pop and stability for all the double and triple moves you guys are performing these days. Uh, we also move the trim a little bit further back, the mast base and the fin position that gives the board a very loose water position, it sits high on the water uh, and therefore you develop or you can produce a lot of speed and get ready for the big moves. In addition to that, we kept quite a bit of volume between the strap. Uh, that also gives a lot of stability, especially when you're doing your sliding moves and rotating, uh, that you still have enough flotation in this area. And what about the rails? Yeah, it's very important on a freestyle board that on one hand the rail produces a lot of grip and drive because you all use such small fins. That's why we kept the tuck pretty sharp from the mast base towards the tail. And then once you get to the rotation and sliding moves, you want the rails really round and beveled off. And that's that rail we use from the mast base forward. And I'd just like to add something about the foot straps on the freestyle boards. For the freestyle straps, we're using double screws and that gives you a nice direct and solid feel with the board. Also, we've got a very big adjustment range, which even accommodates people wearing booties. And also, the inside edges are now super comfortable so when you're sailing switch stance or just sailing around in general you've got a real nice comfortable and solid feeling foot strap. Okay Stephen let's get back to the 106. What is so special about it? What's special about uh, the 106 is uh, the board feels as radical like the like the 100. Uh, just a little bit uh, more width and uh, we put also more volume in the midsection which gives you uh, acceleration, a lot of speed, and what's really important is the, the early planning. Okay, cool. And how are you feeling for the up and coming season? You well prepared? 
Um, yeah, I feel well prepared. The equipment is ready and I'm fully prepared. So, yeah, we will see how it goes. <laughs> so you, you finished in the top 10 in 2012. And because of that, you became the PWA World Youth Champion for the second time in a row. Yeah, it was a great year. I uh, learned a lot over the year. I had got to go to all the events for the first time. And yeah, it was quite exciting. And I'm uh, going again for it next year. <laughs> yeah, so what are your plans for 2013? Well, my plans for this upcoming season is uh, to be competing on the whole PWA Tour and also the whole European Tour. And of course, I'm going to be aiming higher than last year. So that's basically the goal. And uh, yeah, just aiming high. OK, thanks for that, you. Sounds good. So it looks like we're all well prepared for the 2013 season in terms of our equipment and our fitness levels. But as always, our main concern is just to get out on the water, keep pushing the limits and have loads of fun with our friends.